Hi everyone, this is Sharik and welcome to Globetrot with Arabic. This is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson, which means it's a Levantine Arabic lesson. Levantine is spoken in Lebanon, Jordan, Palestine and Syria. Before I begin, I want to let you know about my Lebanese Arabic 30 day challenge courses. In these courses, we do two hours of Arabic every day together on Zoom for a period of 30 days. So if you're interested in improving your Lebanese Arabic, you can get in touch. This is my email address, sharik at globetrotwitharabic.com. If you're interested in enrolling in my courses, you can get in touch and I can give you all the information. These are courses I run almost every month and there are different levels from beginners all the way to advanced. So yalla, let's begin. This here, I brought it with me from the kitchen. A bread, a piece of bread with yogurt, labne, okay? So we eat this a lot, like, you know, when we have something, we want to take it with the bread. We eat it with our hands. So this is, we call this le'me, le'me. So basically you're taking the food like hummus or labne with the bread, okay? You take it and you eat it. So that's Litme or a bite. We refer to it as a bite. The closest translation in English would be a bite. But in Arabic, it's called a litme. But you know why we call it litme now? It's because you know you dip the bread or you take the, the food with the bread and you eat it with your hand. So that's litme. So if you want to say, for example, to someone, Yalla, come have a bite with us, you can say, Ta kol litme ma'na. Ta, come, kol, eat, litme. A bite, which is this, ma'na, come, eat a bite with us. That's how we say it in Arabic. Ta'kol le'me ma'na. Ta'kol le'me ma'na. Now, how is le'me related to football? You, you think, okay, it's totally irrelevant. But it's not. Let me tell you why. So yesterday, uh, the whole world was going crazy with football here in London because, you know, there was the Euro Cup and England was playing versus Italy. So, for the first time in so many years, uh, England was so close to winning the game and and they never achieved the final games. So now they achieved it. Not only that, they were so, 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 so close to winning, but last second they lost because of a penalty. So in a situation like this, we have an expression in Arabic. So let me break this down. So when I say wuslit, I'm saying she arrived, okay? Because in Arabic, we don't have it arrived to refer to li'me we use either she arrived or he arrived. But because the word li'me is a feminine word, so of course I have to say she arrived. Wuslit, not wusl, wuslit. Wuslit, il, the, li'me. The li'me arrived. Wuslit il li'me. The li'me arrived. The bite arrived. Lettim. I'm pronouncing it lettim. But we write it lettim. But because Tim starts with the letter T, which is a sun letter. So we don't pronounce the L, the LAM and the L. So instead of saying LAL TIM, we pronounce it LET TIM with a shadda on the T. So was little let me let TIM. Mm, uh, the bite arrived to the mouth. Let TIM. Was little let me let TIM. It's a way to say the bite arrived to the mouth, but you know, it's like somebody putting a bite here and you can't eat it. So that's what happened yesterday, basically, in football. So people uh, were expecting England to win and it was just about to win, but then in the end they didn't win, which means the bite was just there and they were just about to eat it, but they didn't eat it because it went. So you can say, The bite arrived to the mouth. And she left, I'm saying. And then rahit is optional. You can just say wuslit al me lattim, or you can also say wuslit al me lattim, urahit. That's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can press like on this video and maybe leave a comment in the comment box, or also maybe you can ask a question and I'm gonna answer it for you. See you. Bye.